Hello everyone, my name is Larry and I'm the creator of Tropic Tamates. Today we are talking about a very exciting type of fish that I have in my fish room. They are Neolamporogus caudopunctatus, also known as caudopunks. Most people know that they are shell dwellers but actually they are not a true shell dwellers. Caudopunks are rock dwelling type of fish. They like to hang out on any cave openings, rocks cave. They also like to hide inside the shell. A lot of people are calling them shell dwellers because of their size. The male normally range up to 3 inches and the female are about 2 inches. If they feel threatened, they will hide inside the escargo shells because they're so tiny and they can easily fit on it. For the meantime, while I'm waiting for my rocks to arrive, I decided to use this escargot shell that I have in my shelving. So they have a place to hide. I have here a 40 gallon breeder. I used to have this tank for my angelfish grow out and now that I already moved the angelfish into my 55 gallon I'm gonna use it for my auto box. With this new setup that I'm creating for my caldo punks, I'm using aragonite substrate. You can also use some other lighter color sand for your African cichlids. You can also use crushed corals because it will help you boost the pH. I decided to use this aragonite substrate because like I mentioned with my previous video that this African cichlid from Lake Tanganyika like to have hard water, high pH, and they want their water warm like about 78 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit at least. Mm -hmm. Let's now prepare the hiding spots for my cow punks. These are perfect for the fry especially if they are afraid or feel threatened. I will categorize them as an easy fish if you wanna do some breeding projects. They are the type of fish that you set up their tanks and forget about them. Next thing you know, you will have the whole colony of these African cichlids. They are very easy fish. They will eat anything like pellets, flakes, but mainly they love to eat baby brain shrimp, especially if they are in breeding mode. These caldo punks are pretty cool fish. I like the the coloration of they have on their body, like you know the, the red fins that they have and the blue eyes, especially if you have a little dimmer light. It looks really amazing when you watch them. Also, this um, African cichlids, you can get away with rooted plants. Um, they are not like any other shell dwellers that will change the scape of your substrate. This fish will only dig into the substrate inside the rocks when they are trying to breed. So one thing that you need to remember with this African cichlid, they want stability under water, they want stable water parameter. So I don't normally do vacuum or water change on their tank because like what I experienced before. Um, I did vacuum the, the substrate and I did 50% water change and next thing I know um, my fish are dying little by little so I learned from it and now I'm just doing water top off I don't vacuum the, the substrate because um, I have plants on my tank I use photos I have some anubias and I have some floating plants on it that will take care of the water parameters when it comes to filtration, I only have one large sponge filter on a 40 gallon breeder. Like I said earlier, once I have my rocks order arrived, I will do the rock scape and I will try to hide the sponge filter. 
once I have this sponge filter covered with Rockscape, it will look more natural and more appealing. And I'm 100% sure that the Kaudapunks will like their new tank. Alright guys, that's it for my video today. Once again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate all the love and support. And if you are interested to see more of my breeding project, let me know in the comment down below. And I will create a video for you. Thank you and I will see you next time. Goodbye now.